guys, what's up? It's Candice. Welcome back to my channel. So, as you can tell by the title, today is a very different type of video. So, when I started out with this channel, one of the things that I really wanted it to be is I wanted it to be a true lifestyle channel, meaning that I wanted to show you guys everything that goes on in my life. So I want to talk about my love of fashion and beauty and hair care. Uh, I want to take you on our vacations and just everyday life. And so that even means, you know, my love of sports and time with my family and my friends, taking you to uh, my work and what I do on a day to day basis and just really be all encompassing. So today we are going to do a true lifestyle video and I am going to take you on my a journey of my home life. So I want to take you all through how I clean my kitchen and what that routine looks like, some of the products that I love to use, and just kind of bring you into my life a little bit more other than just your normal everyday beauty reviews and tutorials. So don't don't worry, we're definitely going to get back to those, but I want this to be a well-rounded channel. So with that, today we're going to kick the lifestyle portion off with an updated kitchen cleaning routine. Again, showcasing how I like to go about cleaning certain sections of my kitchen and just what I do. And Actually, I'm really hoping that this video keeps me honest and holds me accountable because let's just keep it real. My husband is a trooper and he is awesome. He does the bulk of our cleaning and our household work. Um, so I'm hoping that by doing this, this will hold me more accountable to making sure that I'm doing my part um, and I will start not only doing this on a, a more regular basis, but then also tackling the other areas of our home. And I will, of course, take you guys on that journey with me. So um, before we jump into this video, do not forget to hit the like button and give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell icon so that you're always notified of every future upload. So if you would like to see my updated kitchen cleaning routine, then keep on watching. All right, to get started, one of the first things that I like to do is to kind of declutter the countertop. But before I do that, I did pick up some new K-Cups while I was at the store earlier. So I wanted to make sure that I replenish our stand, um, our little carousel that we keep all of our K-Cups on. And actually, there are a few K-Cups that are left in there that I just don't like and we haven't touched in forever so I want to kind of throw those away and um, refill with the new ones that I got but I also want to make sure I clean the carousel because I don't know if you've all ever noticed but that bottom portion of the carousel it kind of collects dust and kind of dirt and grime so I'm using one of my favorite multi-purpose cleaners to kind of spray off the actual carousel and wipe that down as I replenish all of the cake cups. using one of my absolute favorite multi-purpose cleaners. This is by the brand Method, and you will see that throughout this video, I use this in a couple other areas on, and even on a few of my appliances. It is safe for all um, surfaces, and it really does a great job at kind of degreasing and kind of getting rid of any type of actual gunk that you may have stuck on um, any of your surfaces. And it smells amazing, first of all. It is the lavender scent, and it works wonders. So again, you will see this throughout the video. And of course, down in the description box, I will have all the products that I am using linked so you can check them out for yourself. And yes, before anyone comments, I will go ahead and beat you to the punch. We are very much aware that as of today, our appliances do not match. You will notice that our um, dishwasher, refrigerator, and uh, notice I said refrigerator is the refrigerator, <laughs> um, microwave are all stainless steel, and our cooktop and our oven are still white. Um, we moved into this home about three and a half years ago, and in our previous home, all of our appliances were stainless steel. Um, the refrigerator, refrigerator <laughs> we actually brought from the old home and when we moved into this home all the appliances were white so instead of being frivolous with our money um, we decided that we would just wait to replace all the appliances as they went out 
So that's kind of what we've done. We're just kind of replacing them as needed. They all worked when we moved in. So there was no need to go out and spend that money unnecessarily. And quite frankly, if anyone walks into our home and has something to say about our appliances mismatching, they're probably not welcomed back in our home. So it really wasn't a big deal. So we, the first thing we replaced was the microwave that did go out actually shortly after we moved. And the next thing that we replaced was the dishwasher. So now we're just waiting for the oven and the cooktop to go out and those will be replaced with matching stainless steel as well. So here I am just organizing all of my husband's and I will say most of those are my husband's. A couple of those items are mine, but most of them are his, and he actually used all of his, all of his vitamins and protein powders and pre-workouts. Um, they're kind of just scattered all over the counter, and um, I just wanted to kind of quarantine them all into one designated bin. And later on after this video, I actually went to Target and purchased a really nice basket that kind of matches the cabinetry um, to put over in this corner. Um, and I will do that. I will show you all that in an updated kitchen video in a couple of months but um, I did want to just make sure all this was together in a single unit and that's what I did. Next, moving on to cleaning out the kitchen sink, and I think that this is probably one of the most neglected areas in most kitchens, and I like to use another product by Method. This is the anti -back spray, and this is the antibacterial spray, and to me, this is comparable to the Lysol with bleach spray, except you are getting the same cleaning powder, power and punch that you get with the Lysol with bleach, but without all of the harsh chemicals. Um, Method is a natural cleaning brand. Um, I like to spray this all in the sink and use a sponge to kind of really get down and scrub deep. Um, one of the things that I also like to do after I spray and I filmed, at least I thought I filmed, but apparently I didn't because I can't find the footage, is I like to coat the sink with baking powder and let that sit for about 10 or 15 minutes and then just kind of spray a little bit of water on top and then use that same sponge and really scrub and that brings back the stainless steel color because sometimes it can look a little dull and this really brings back that shine and it's super easy it's quick and you all baking powder is so cheap it's like 48 cents for a little carton so this is very um, much an easy hack that you can use to clean out your sink We're moving over to the cooktop and again I'm using one of my favorite method all-purpose cleaners this is just to break up any actual food debris that may be left on the cooktop once you clean it off you want to sprinkle all of the cooktop with some baking soda so if you've ever wondered how you get rid of the burn marks on your cooktop here is your hack so make sure you evenly coat the cooktop um, with baking soda the areas that have larger burn marks just add a little bit more baking soda 
Then the next thing you want to do is, this is probably going to take about 15 to 20 minutes, take a a kitchen rag and you want to make sure that it is soaked in really hot water and a little bit of dish soap and you want to then take that rag and lay it over top of your cooktop and then you want to just let this sit for about 10 to 15 minutes and then we will wipe it all off use a little bit of elbow grease um, to get um, the actual burn marks off but you all baking soda works wonders it breaks up just about anything so this will leave your cooktop looking good as new once you scrub all of the baking soda off but you like to have to let it sit for a little bit so that it can actually work and break it up and the hot water and the dish soap just help to activate the baking soda so I'll show you all the finished product here in just a second but while we're over here, we need to clean off all of the canisters, make sure we're getting off any food debris, fingerprints, yada, yada, yada. All of that good jazz. And you all know that we have two wonderful dogs, and both of which are older, and they're very sickly half the time. So that little nook right there is where we keep all of their medicine that we give them every morning. So gotta make sure they're organized. cooktop for about 15 minutes now and it's time to put some elbow grease into it and scrub away those burn marks and all the baking soda does is it just makes it a lot easier to scrub away it actually breaks up the the buildup and the burn marks so as you keep rubbing the baking soda into the cooktop you'll notice that it's just like eating the burn marks away. This is so easy, you guys. So simple, so cheap, and it is quick. So this is a go-to thing to do every single week or as needed. Um, you can even do like little spot treatments as you finish your cooking and you notice a burn mark. This has been an absolute lifesaver. guys so that wraps up my quick weekly kitchen cleaning routine I actually did film um, or at least I thought I did um, after I swept the floors I did go into my weekly mopping routine and I showcased the mop that I use which is my absolute favorite as well as the products that I use on our hardwood, hardwood floors um, but for some reason again that footage did not record so I will be sure to include that in an updated quick kitchen cleaning routine that I will post in a couple of months so this is a very quick routine that you can do on a weekly basis to keep your kitchen looking presentable at all times and also um, using some very safe clean products so if you all like these types of videos be sure to let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and liking it um, also leave me some comments below um, I want to again make sure that I have a well-rounded channel showcasing all of the things that I love and then just every part of my life so Again, let me know what you think. Leave me some comments. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks guys. See you in the next one.